Hi, I'm Stuart. I'm Chris. And welcome to Sunnet Television. Took a trip to Star Cars, got to spend some time with the guys, seeing all their fantastic tricks and everything that they have put into a 2017 Ford Utility for getting it all dressed up, ready for service. Ready to rock and roll. I am. Okay, well let's go rock and roll. Star Cars has done an amazing transformation with this 2017 Ford Utility Interceptor. Brought to them in stock trim with minimum lighting package consisting of the Ford Wheelin ready for the road. So the vehicle is equipped with a siren speaker in the front, ions in a custom mirror beam housing overlay, and ions in the rear hatch up top and in the back for visibility when flipped up. So Star Cars has done a wonderful job further outfitting the vehicle with the great lighting package that you see here consisting of Wheelin, sound off signal on the interior for dome lights, Phoenix with their Fusion product line, and Code 3 carrying over to the front of the vehicle and rounding out the back and sides. So we'll go ahead now, go for a trip around the vehicle and show you all the great touches that Star Cars has added. The utility is sporting a very nicely set up equipment console system that Star Cars has outfitted from Jotodesk. Ergonomics very nice and clean when it comes to the Motorola radio and the Wheelan Syncom siren and lighting controller. Down below, microphones, beverage holder, followed by a nice comfy armrest pad, and behind that, in-car radio repeat speaker and a mount for the ticket printer. Off to the side, MDT mount, also a Jotto Desk product put in by Star Cars. So a two-piece system here, keyboard, keyboard tray, and a Havis plug-in mount for the G-Tech system that'll come later. So as you can see, the console itself, very clean when it comes to following the lines of the interior of the utility, and everything there for convenience. So 12-volt plug-ins, relocating the Ford Utilities factory auxiliary and USB plug-in, and also on the top, something custom from Jotto Desk, again by Star Cars, is a blue LED map light. So something a bit more trick than we're used to seeing with the conventional red and white. With the simplistic yet powerful warning system this vehicle has been upfitted with, the Syncom Sapphire takes care of the siren tone activation with the array of buttons on the top. Tying into the lighting system is the progressive switch. Position one activates rear lighting. Position two is rear plus sides. And position three, the full lighting scheme. So sides, rear, and all the powerful front facing product. Also, you'll notice here, position three ties into the system operating hands-free, allowing for the convenience of using the vehicle's steering wheel and horn ringer for siren tones. The slick top lighting package starts with the Wheelin ready for the road mirror beam system. So the powerfulness of the Wheelin ion light heads, red on the driver's side, blue on the passenger. So conventional when it comes to the colors utilized here. So this is a great way to have midship lighting and 45 degree roughly angled coverage for intersection protection. Moving up to the front facing and most powerful part of the LED warning system is a Phoenix Fusion two-piece interior bar. So designed with the shrouds and bracketry just for the Ford utility, this is utilizing their dual color scheme. So powerful red and blue lighting tied into a warning mode. It also utilizes a takedown function tied into the Syncom controller. With this, it is utilizing a mix of the Fusion optics. So the takedowns in the center using the 40 degree to tighten things up to enhance the lighting scheme out to the sides, the 180 optics. Beyond the brilliant fit, finish, and bright output of the Phoenix Fusion interior bar, you have programmability when it comes to the color. So isolating to a red and blue only scheme, activation of takedown mode, and further enhancing it for more attention grabbing with a mix of red, blue, and white. For the front end of the utility, I love the mix of products that Star Cars has installed. Tying it into the new Trick headlight buckets, MR6 MCs from Code 3 tied in, blue and white, red and white on the opposing side, utilizing the brackets that insert these into the headlight cutouts. Further enhancing the system is the Wheelin plug-in for the headlight flasher. So really nice to see that the new utilities have the LED 
headlights, followed by the conventional halogen high beam, so of course going back to a nice powerful wigwag system. So the system here again tying into the wheel and plug and flasher to speed it up. Down low, carrying in from the Phoenix Fusion line, tied into the blanks where non-existing fog lights would be. Or if you have a fog light, you could do a hideaway option. But this is the dual color Fusion using the 180 optics. So installed here, maximizing the output at low level and helping to round out the front of the vehicle when it comes to angles and intersection protection. Midship, dead center in the grill from Wheel and Engineering, we have the Stud Mount Microns. So a great product when it comes to the Ford Utility dressing up the police package with a pop-in. These of course, as you can see, are the split color in a red and blue. So nice and powerful midship lights right in the grill. Rounding out the third window lights and the rear lighting of the system carries into Code 3 and the Chase dual color light heads. Blue white on the passenger, red white on the driver in a very vibrant pattern scheme. Rounding out to the tail lights, Star Cars has taken advantage of the Police Interceptor twist locks from Code 3. So a really nice plug and play product when it comes to the tail lights, dressing them up. They just need to be wired in, of course. Up in the top, this is one of the Whelan Ford ready for the road options. So carrying into the Whelan Ions with the custom shrouds. So nice and bright when it comes to conventional red blue through the tinted rear glass. To supplement the lighting package on the back of the utility when the cargo hatch is lifted, ready for the road, red and blue ions grafted into the base. Further beyond the finesse of star cars and outfitting the utility with the wonderful lighting package that you've seen, on the interior it's been further customized. So on the rear hatch, a stop stick mounted up nice and snugly without any obstruction whatsoever. So until I pointed this out, I bet you didn't even notice it was there. On the headliner in the rear and above the driver passenger area, from sound off signal, the LED red and white cargo lights. Very easy to utilize with the incorporated rear switch, flipping from white, again, over to red. So with the red, it reduces eye strain and the interior glare on the grass, making things safer for the operator. Danny of Star Cars, being the skilled technician that he is, was given a special task when it came to this upfit in the form of a headliner mounted weapon system. Danny knocked it out of the park, as you can see here, with a great customized rail system, butt plates, and weapon locks. So with this, perfect weapon storage, nice and secure, and completely out of the way and invisible. Revisiting the rear of the utility, you wouldn't even know that Austin had been in here performing his magic with the power distribution. Nicely tucked behind the panel here is the power distribution system that you saw him working on previously. So nice and organized when it comes to all the products tied into this vehicle, easy access fusing, and a main reset. Carrying over behind the panel there, as you can see with a custom top screwed in, that is where the Syncom Sapphire amplifier sits. So again, servicing the amplifier and its inline fusing or making any adjustments to it for programming, all you have to do is pop the top and there it is. And there you have it, our 2017 Ford Utility as tuned by the team that is Starcar. The vehicle itself turned out very nicely. Oh, I agree. Not so much in the traditional law enforcement respect to an overhead, so it's more a slick top vehicle, no mm -hmm. question about that. It didn't have a cage in the back, so they're obviously not going to, or prisoner transportation screen, to be correct. They are going to basically use that from a sergeant to commander, possibly even a chief of police. Exactly. So somebody that's not going to be out there doing transporting with the vehicle, but still needs the ability to run code and have proper lights and sirens. Okay. Cool. And of course, the other accessories that we've shown in the vehicle as well. And they're all on Sirenet, so go ahead and check those out. I'm Chris. I'm Stuart. Thanks for watching Sirenet TV.